G'day guys, James from Watermatic Irrigation with another tech tip. What I want to show you today is how you can control top up of a water tank instead of using a normal ball flow, um, which will activate as soon as the ball flow drops or the water level drops, water will start filling. Whereas this is another option for filling a tank using a float switch and a solenoid valve and a power source, just a 24 volt power source. Doing it this way allows you to control at what level you want the, the tank to start filling. So instead of right at the top, you can choose halfway down for the tank to start filling. The beauty of that is that you might want to leave half of your tank empty for rainwater or something like that. So what we've got is we've got three, um, three parts to this. One is just a, a float switch, 24 volt AC solenoid valve, a 24 volt transformer. So what I've done will send power from the transformer through the solenoid valve, through the float switch and back, which closes the circuit. And then it's the action of the float switch dropping as the water level in the tank drops, which will actually power up or energize the solenoid valve to open and the water will start flowing. So what I've done here is, as I said, I've just got the 24 volt transformer. We'll just send power to the solenoid valve through the float switch as well. And to close the circuit, we need the other wire coming from the coil or the solenoid valve to the float switch. So I've got the power off at the moment, but if I wire that up there, now it comes with three wires, your float switches, black would be pretty standard, and then it's brown or blue, you choose which one you want based on the action you want. So we want in this case, as the water level drops and the float lowers, we want the solenoid valve to power up and water to flow. If I chose the brown wire, it would be in reverse. It would activate when the float switch is up. You might want to do that if you're, if you're draining your tank, so that when a water level reaches a certain height, the float switch goes up and you might energize the solenoid valve to actually drain the tank or drain a pit. So look, I'm just gonna twist those together. All right, so we'll power up, water level drops. You can hear the solenoid coil energize and that opens, so water's flowing. As the water level rises, the float starts floating up and it turns it off, it just clicks there. So it's at about 45 degree angle. There would be off and there is on. If you wanted to do it the other way around, a drainer tank, it's just a matter of switching to the brown wire and it'll do the same thing but in reverse. So as we take it up, that solenoid valve is now energized and as I drop it down, it closes. As you wire these things up, double check and which wire you want to use just to make sure it's performing the right action. Then you just dangle one of these, this float switch down at whatever level you want, remembering that at about 45 degrees is where it'll, it'll action. So you can have a, a weight somewhere there and it's on a fairly short throw, or you might want to choose to have a longer throw or a really short throw, but wherever you set that weight is the pivot point. Anyway guys, hope that helps.